Hi, this is my like how I take notes at law school video. Um, I hope you find it useful. This is just kind of how I'm taking notes right now. Uh, at the moment, I'm, I've literally done my first term of first year, so I'm sure that this system will change loads, but um, I'm kind of happy with how it's going at the moment, so I thought I'd, I'd share it in case anybody's interested in it. So I kind of have two uh, note systems. I've got like an online system and a physical folder system. I have everything online so that I can just take my laptop into uni and know that I have everything with me. Um, and kind of during lectures and seminars and stuff, on my laptop is where I'll take my notes. But at regular points, so like every half term or something, I tend to print off all of the online notes that I've made and put them into physical folders. That's kind of just because I prefer physical folders. There's no reason at all that everything couldn't just be online. But it looks prettier, it's nicer, and I prefer like writing essays from physical folders. So I thought I'd just kind of give you a little overview of what the office looks like, um, so you can see where everything's kind of um, kept and how it all works together. So basically, I've got a desk, and then we've got a big IKEA Kallax system, and I've got um, six folders, I think, that all slot in there. Um, and they're all divided up with dividers and, you know, plastic wallets. And, and then I've got my desk, which has got, like, obviously my laptop on it, and fairy lights, nice little lamp, a candle. Uh, I've got a couple of books near my desk. Uh, I've got a legal dictionary, which I 100% recommend. It's incredibly useful, and whenever I'm not working in my office, I miss it. Uh, and what else have I got up there? That might be it. I'm a little cactus, obviously. So in terms of actual physical notes, uh, most of my notes are in my Foundations in Law 1 and 2 folders. I guess it's worth explaining at this point. I go to York Law School, so we've got um, two kind of key modules. Um, so Foundations in Law 1 is like an introduction module, so it, it finished in the first five weeks. And now we're doing Foundations in Law 2, and within that we do EU Law, Public Law, Obligations, Property and Criminal. So they're all of our main um, qualifying law degree requirements. Um, and it's all in that one module, so almost all of my notes are in that folder. My other modules are called Introduction to Law and Society, which is a bit more um, like theory of law type, why things are the way they are. I've got legal concepts, which is what it sounds like, so we learn about things like proportionality, rights and responsibilities, that sort of thing. Um, and then I have got Portfolio and Reflections, which is like... Um, it's sort of like a reflective module that we write as the year goes on, so I've not actually got many notes for that one yet. Uh, I've got legal skills, which is a practical module where we do things like mooting and negotiating, that sort of thing. And is that it? Yeah, that's it, because foundations in law one, foundations in law two, and that's six. So the first folder that I'm going to show you um, is my foundations in law, well, I'll show you one and two, the folders, because they're pretty much identical. Um, at York we learn through, we have lectures and then we also have problem based learning. So basically we'll t pick up two problems every week and then work through them, create some notes, feedback on the problem type thing. So it's like learning in practice a lot. So my notes kind of reflect that. So looking at my foundation in law folders, um, I guess what you'll see in every folder is that on the left, on the top, I've got a sticker that's got um, how it's assessed and where I can find like relevant reading. That's not actually been that useful. Having the assessments is kind of useful written down, um, but the where to find reading kind of just comes with practice anyway, so that wasn't really necessary. Um, and then I've always got a section for general notes. Um, in my modules that aren't foundations in law, I tend to just have one like block of notes, um, and I'll just write in anything that I feel like is key information that I need to remember. Um, so I've got things like if we're given diagrams or, you know, ways of remembering things, certain, like, processes that have to be followed, that kind of thing, I tend to have in specialised notes. Um, but in Foundations in Law, general notes is just something that doesn't fit neatly into, like, property obligations, etc. And then I've got a, um, a section for subject-specific notes, so I'll have, like, criminal, EU, you know, all of that. Um, and again, that's just stuff that I feel like is important from the lectures that will probably be examined. So stuff like principles of criminalisation, for example. Um, and I've got those in plastic wallets, so they don't look very thick, but they're like, I don't know, five pages thick each or something, which isn't very thick, but they're just like the key um, basic concepts. 
and then I tend to have assessment guidance wherever it's given or like the module learning outcomes something like that in a separate little bit and then I always have a section for uh, lecture content so I guess I'll move on now to how I make my notes in lectures rather than just the general notes that I'm writing kind of all the time so in lectures I tend to download the slides in advance and then um, I tend to download the slides in advance and then during the lecture all that I'll do is go through my lecture content file and whenever a new topic comes up I'll write it down so maybe in this lecture we went through um, the member states of the EU and then we went through the process for withdrawing from the EU and then we went through what article 50 is or whatever and I'll create like a little block of what was in the lecture and that just exists so that when I go back and revise or when I write coursework I can go okay I need to be looking at this element of property law and it was here here and here um, and it makes it a lot easier to kind of see uh, without having to go through everything in detail in the future or well, that's the plan I'm not sure if it works yet but it's been working so far um, and then in the lecture I tend to annotate the slides so I have them on Google I have them on Google Drive I don't actually go into the PowerPoint I know people write notes in like the speakers notes on PowerPoint I don't really like that because if you just go onto Google Drive and like open it as a preview you can highlight specific blocks of text and then add comments to it so that tends to be how I make my notes in the lecture. So if the lecturer adds anything, if they've got a picture up and then they talk a bit more, I'll just highlight the picture and then write what they've um, what they've said next to it. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet whether I'm just going to leave those notes as online stuff that I can look at if I need to, or if I'm going to print it all out and put it into the folders. Um, it would be a complete faff to print it all out and it would cost me a fortune in ink but like the completionist in me really wants to like print it all out so we'll see we'll see which side of my brain wins with that one <clears throat> as I said I'm not like completely sorted with this yet and this is absolutely going to change in the future um, so for example in the future I really want to use flashcards more um, but that's probably more of a revision thing um, and I really like um, oh, Ali Abdal's video on active recall so I really want to use that in the future as well, like writing questions and answering them rather than just writing notes. I've just not really got round to that yet because it's been super busy and I'm basically just about keeping on top of the notes anyway. So I think that's kind of it for how I do lectures. That's the same amongst all of my modules. So whenever I have a lecture, I'll use the same system. I have a section in all of my folders for lecture content. Now specific to the Foundations in Law 1 and 2 modules, I've also got a PBL content um, section which I separate with a little divider and that's pretty much the same thing um, but for every PBL problem after we've gone through the process and after we've fed back I'll write down all of the key cases and key bits of legislation and kind of what they show, key case because it defines negligence or something so I'll write down the case and then uh, defines negligence or like the piece of legislation and what we used it for and I'll write it down kind of topic by topic so the, the question that we're given the problem tends to cover two um, areas so maybe it'll be criminal and property and I'll tend to divide down my answers into like criminal uh, intoxication theft and then property and all of the things that we looked at and the specific cases and legislation that are relevant to that and I'm hoping that in the future that's um, useful for going back and and being able to see what the cases um, were used for. Really what I need to be doing though is writing case notes on those cases so that when I look at it I can go okay so um, gosh I can't think of a single case that's important. <laughs> this case is important and here's all of the information about it and that's what I've been trying to do over the last few weeks of term when I kind of got to grips with uh, the strengths and, and weaknesses of my system. So after PBL contents I then have the actual PBL problems. So um, the PBL problems are basically my notes for every single week printed out. So I tend to have about 10 pages of notes for every problem. Um, and I've got a really specific colour coding system and, and everything with it. Um, and what I really try to do is write down those key cases and have a case note for them. And write down the journals and, and what they say and all of that type of stuff. So my system for my actual PBL notes is I'll do my research and I'll highlight in red any of the cases or legislation that I've not had time to look at yet and I'll try to go through 
um, at the end of the week and, and read them and put in the relevant sections. Anything in, highlighted in yellow is like key information that I have to pay attention to when we're feeding back on the problem, so when we're talking to a tutor about what research we've done. Anything in purple is um, like the answer to the problem basically. So if the question was uh, what constitutes theft, then at the end I might say like so it was theft in the problem because X, Y, Z. I then colour code specific things, so if I've got like the elements of murder, I might colour code different blocks and then define them underneath. Um, I think that's all of my colour coding. And then at the bottom I have all of the extra exercises that are set for us that, you know, nobody ever has time to do, just in case I fancy going back and looking at them in the future. So they are my PBL notes. I printed those out at the beginning of Christmas and that's pretty much the bulk of my Foundations in Law folders now. Um, at the end of my Foundations in Law 1 folder, I'm really soon going to have my um, summative, so like um, the essay that actually counts, the notes for that. So I'm going to have assessment stuff, revision and essay notes at the end of a folder as well, but we're not quite there yet. I think that pretty much wraps up Foundations in Law 1 and 2. The only difference with my other folders, uh, so I've got four other folders obviously, some of them have specialist bits in them. So for um, concepts and ills, Introduction to Law and Society, we have round tables, which are like seminars basically, proper seminars. And if we get given materials for those, I'll put them at the end of, of there. And in my legal skills folder, I've got a section on, uh, we did a moot recently. So I had to do a skeleton argument. I had to do uh, like tab it all, highlight it all, have little flashcards to read from. I've got all of that stuff in my legal skills folder. And I think pretty much that wraps up how I'm taking my notes right now. So basically, taking them online, annotating the lecture slides as I go through, lecture content, PBL content, putting it all in the um, physical folders with all of the notes. So I hope this was kind of somewhat useful, um, or interesting at least. I'll probably look back on this in third year and think, what a stupid way to make notes. Yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I've got some pretty cool video ideas going up soon. I'm not quite sure whether this will go up first or my um, term review will go up first, probably the term review, so you've probably, that's probably already gone out on this channel. And then I've got my like essay writing vlog, um, which will go up at some point as well. And I'm gonna do some kind of vlogs at some point soon as well. So I hope you have a good Christmas and I will see you really soon. Bye.